Good evening, everyone. Two hurricanes, one a category four, making their way across the Pacific toward us. Yeah, talking about Eric and Flossie, both gaining strength. Want to go right to Justin Cruz with the latest information on both these storms. Just yeah, today was a significant day for Eric and Flossie because they both gained strength. Now, just because they're strong systems right now does not mean that they're going to be strong systems near the Hawaiian Islands. Because looking ahead, for both of these hurricanes, it looks to be more of a tropical storm when they're closer to the island. So that's good news. We're not going to feel the wrath of a Category 4 or a Category 1 hurricane, at least at this point. Now, here's a closer look at the system. This is Eric. Eric has very good form. There's low wind shear right now, and the waters are warm in this area of the Pacific. But Eric's about to get hit with some major wind shear near the Hawaiian Islands, so that's our natural protection. So we anticipate Eric to start weakening no later than tomorrow and initially, it's going to be slow weakening, but more rapid weakening could happen to Eric in the Thursday through Friday time frame. We're talking about going from a Category 4 down to a 1 south of the Hawaiian Islands. Notice we're not in that cone of uncertainty, but I do have some wet weather, especially for Maui and the Big Island, in the Thursday through Saturday time frame. So that's just a heads up. We're going to get some very large surf for the east shores from this system for all islands. We're going to get some rain mostly for the Big Island and maybe into Maui and some gusty winds as this passes to the south. Then there's Flossie. Flossie became a hurricane today. Winds now at 80 miles per hour. This is currently a Category 1. It's going to gradually intensify into a Category 2 crossing the Central Pacific around Friday in through Saturday. And then you'll notice that it's still a Category 1 five days out in through Sunday. But after that point, it should become a tropical storm. It still has the potential to give us some problems with heavy rain and surf. That time frame is going to be in the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame of next week. Of course, you can download the KHO2 mobile app to track the storms on your own, and we'll keep you posted right here at KHON2. Back to the desk.